Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Dead Cells. Continue our custom mode run of alternate uh, outfits randomly every floor. Been having a lot of fun playing Dead Cells lately. Yesterday we played a, several runs in a row. Uh, might just play one run today as like a warm up, but I want to play some Dead Cells regardless. Break open that door. Brutality and survival. What's going on with the audio? I had my speakers turned on. I have now turned them off. You know, I, I do look at this and I say to myself, you know what, self, I really enjoy. Oh, I remember the last run. Spin to win reminded me of what we actually did on the last run. Iron Staff is incredible. I do feel like doing maybe a, uh, a tactics run. We were not very ranged focused on the last run, but we could maybe try to be a little bit more range focused today. Maybe go tactics, maybe have a good reason to go to Dracula's castle, sorry, Dracul's castle, and get our asses kicked there, maybe fight death. Alternatively, the game wants me to go to the promenade. From here, we can go to the, you know what? Promenade, Ossuary, Black Bridge would be, I think a lot of fun, which makes me really want to go for the Iron Staff to just kick the crap out of the bosses, but Ranged attacks are too, uh, are good as well, I should say. Let's go, uh, let's go survival. It's, it's half decent. I mean, it's actually an extremely great early loadout. But I, uh, I like all of the equipment here. You know what? There you go. That's all we're gonna get for the time being, but I'll take b -b -b baby what I can get. All right. It's gonna take me a little while to get into the idea, excuse me, that I'm gonna have to do some like parries probably. But if we can get into the habit of parrying, Excuse me. Clonk, there we go. Um, if we can get into the idea of parrying, this iron staff can be act actually incredible. Sorry for being like a little bit uh, all over the place here with the pauses in the middle of commentary, but I am just trying to re-familiarize myself with the game and has been, oh, I don't know, about 18 hours since I last picked it up. I know that's a long time in, in a streamer's life. After playing Dead Cells for like six hours yesterday though, I had a little bit of like a, a neck cramp, I think. Maybe it was just the last run and how tense it made me, but uh, try to be a little bit more, uh, you know, posture focused today, I wanna say. I hope everyone's having a great day, by the way. I'm still loving Dead Cells. Even, you know, if Dead Cells if it ever goes away and I don't play it for a while, I'll probably be coming back to this game. Maybe I'll play some runs on my own and practice boss rush and actually try to get those uh, flawless outfits unlocked. I might not do those, you know, perpetually being uh, recorded for uh, Twitch or YouTube just because it is a lot of, not grinding, But it is gonna be a lot of practice and a lot of repetition and a lot of maybe trying to like figure out what a good uh, custom equipment setup would be for it. You know, rolling a uh, brutality and hey, knock it off. Rolling brutality and a uh, curse sword, of course. Uh, whatever. Uh, That's your bad posture kicking in gamer stands. Quasimodo special. I don't know what it was about the other day, but my neck was really, really sore after playing Dead Cells. It happens. I, I think I will go to the promenade. It's been a long time since we've been there and I absolutely hate that floor. It's very difficult. But we'll do it anyways. Infantry grenade is better than smoke bomb, but the smoke bomb, no. I don't want the smoke bomb. 
dun, dun, dun. Not a big fan of uh, promenade. It's those guardian enemies, those protectors, or whatever the hell they're called. They make it so damn hard to actually kill anything else that I just find myself dying horribly every single time I go there. Uh, we're done with the floor, absolutely. We don't need to buy any equipment, we don't have any cash. Promenade. Connie says, I remember this one time I woke up with a complete muscle lock on my neck, couldn't move an inch without pain, it was fun. Yeah, maybe I was just like sleeping incorrectly or something. You know, you have to have good posture while you're sleeping as well. Ooh, poison synergy here. Poison synergy with the frost glasses. Frost Blast as well. <clears throat> Pardon me. But sometimes you're just sore. That or like it's the first stage of, uh, I don't know, Lyme disease or something. Probably not, I haven't had a, a tick in, on me in a long time. Clunk, clunk. A, a, oh god, nice shot. Let's be a lesson though to anyone if you're living like anywhere in in you know New England or well, I, mean, I don't know specifically other locations which have a lot of ticks, but you always gotta check yourself whenever you're you've gone for a walk or something. Dun, 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 dun 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 Ah now we're talking. You know what? I've immediately realized what I want in this run. I want the baseball bat. I want to go full on baseball bat build. I've got the stun grenade. If we're going to fight the, uh, the, <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> the bridge boss. If we're going to fight bridge boss, stun grenade, frost blast, root trap. Give me all of those things. I'll freaking break his kneecaps. Connie says, here's hoping for the legendary symmetrical lance. Oh, baby, that would be so nice. Where, where can we go from Ossuary, Black Bridge? We can go to the Fractured Shrines. I love going up to the Fractured Shrines. I love going up to the Fractured Shrines and then hoping to get uh, some sick legendary loot that I don't have to take wish for, because you get to pick, you get to pick your loot. I have had Legendary Symmetrical Lance once, and I mean, it is as good as it sounds. It is just quad damage for free, which is absurd. Yeah, I remember, I remember that uh, I had it on the, on a run, let's say, when I went up and fought the Collector. So I had the free quad damage and shield piercing. It wasn't as game breaking as people have told me that it could be. It was still good, it was still great in fact, but it wasn't like I can kill him while he's healing. I didn't have that level of damage output. <laughs> really wanted to see if I could parry the grenade bat. Maybe we'll try that when there's not 16 other enemies all, uh, all trying to kill me at the same time. Ah, uh, you know what? We're also killing enemies with the grenade that this thing fires, which might prevent me from actually getting the parry. I actually haven't yet figured out how that works, because like if the grenade bat explodes uh, due to the bomb and dies, then you know we're not going to get that that super high parry crit. I think. Symmetrical Lance, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here. Okay, yeah, Baseball Bat, that's pretty good. Wow, the Iron Staff damage is actually, like considering it's a level four versus a level seven, it's on par with the Baseball Bat. And the Baseball Bat has absurd high damage, so that's really good. I mean, I kind of want to do it. And you know what? Let's um keep it over the shield in case we want to switch back. 
but it's been a while since we've had a good baseball bat run. And what I'm thinking is we could definitely just use the, um, really, the Frost Blast to enable the baseball bat, because when you freeze enemies, they tend to get stunned momentarily when they, oh, it's the Bible. They tend to get stunned momentarily when they unfreeze. So you can freeze the enemy, get in a free hit, and then just keep smacking and you're gonna get that combo going. Hold on, there we go. Something somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. And I also really like it when uh, those enemies are starting to turn into elites because you can just, you know, crap on them. Well, everything except for the... You know what? Ice them. Everything except for the... Uh, Enemies that are immune to stun, of which there are several. I'm much happier to be rolling Baseball Bat with Survival than Brutality, of course, because Survival at least has scaling with the, the slowdown, the freeze, the rooting. It's all green equipment. Bonic Lettuce says, Fireworks just went off, but it sounded like an explosion. It woke me up for a bit. You did say you were tired and you were going to try to sleep. Where are you where there's fireworks? Maybe someone's just really happy that it's Friday. Friday, Friday. Whoops. Hey. I'm liking this run right now. It feels satisfying, and that satis... Sat satisfy a, that, that satisfaction is important in a game like this. The run's gotta feel good, and this run feels good. I don't know how I feel about the, uh... Nope. I don't know how, wow! You were not still doing your combo when you unfroze. I don't know how I feel about the, uh... Frost Blast. There's a lot of fire happening, which is definitely interrupting the, uh, the baseball bat swing. But against the bridge boss, this should be a not a problem loadout. Monic Lettuce is Wisconsin. Apparently fireworks are still popular a week after the 4th of July. Uh, a week and a half after the 4th of July. <laughs> Maybe someone just had extra fireworks. They're like, ah, you know what? We don't use them, it's just a waste. Clunk. God, this is, it's a great run. I mentioned it the other day, but it was only in passing, but I uh, recently played both Bullets Per Minute and Metal Hellsinger. Bullets per minute, it just is such a satisfying game. Everything just feels good when it all works together. You're shooting and reloading with a beat and everything has like this over, over the top, uh, exceptionally uh, uh, over-exaggerated animation and everything just feels satisfying. And I feel satisfied right now. <laughs> Throwable objects, yes, thank you. We're gonna take that instead of the Frost Blast. Classic. Hotline Miami Katana Zero Build acquired. Oh my god, I just remembered too. And I'm sorry for this. I've got to actually put up the Hotline Miami videos on YouTube. I still haven't done that properly yet. I will do it. I will try to remember to do it tonight, all right? You've, you have my ward, and my cleaver, and my chair, and all the objects that you can throw, even though that's 
Again, not Hotline Miami, that's Katana Zero, <laughs> which I now understand. Hold on, hold on. I want the money. And we're good. There's like two enemies remaining. I'm not gonna go back for all of those or all of that. We're gonna go to the prison depths, of course, and then I would love to go to the ossuary. Can we do that? Yes, we can. I do find it weird that you can't go to the ramparts after you do this route. Cause you can go to, like the ramparts is the the OG path in, uh, in Dead Cells. But, not a huge deal for me, not a huge uh, game breaker. Mud says, I did miss the Hotline Miami playthrough. It, that, it was a fun game. Ice Bow, that's actually like pretty decent. Eh, we don't need the Ice Bow, we don't need this, we don't need this. By the way, I have not talked at all about the fact that I have Legendary Bible on hand. We will be using this for bosses, but not for now. The first boss, no matter what you what you fight, whether you fight the Watcher, the Bridge Boss, uh, Death, the Nest Boss, aka Mama Tick, all of these bosses are pretty weak to slow down and stuns, so we can totally just roll Baseball Bat for the Bridge Boss. He's gonna be a little bit resistant to it at some point, but maybe we can kill him before he gets that resistance which would be sick. Let's go gastronomy. I have a newfound appreciation for necromancy. I still love the raw health increase and or damage from gastronomy. It's an either or that works even if you don't need the, the health. Are you high on health? Take the damage. Are you low on health? Take the health. I do like the infantry grenade over the crush trap. I know it slows, but I'm not, uh, not really utilizing that crush trap, am I? I knew that that was gonna be a little risky. No! How did he not get hit? I have to watch the replay on that one. I threw a thrown object to the left. What? What? See, and you know what? That's a situation where the game, oh, I was having such a good time. I felt in the zone. How did he not get hit by that thrown object? I threw it to the left, right? I gotta watch the replay on this one. Give me a second. Okay, so we go. I threw something to the left. And then he wasn't stunned. I, I guess. Did it go off screen? Is there like a range on that or or what? That that was gonna be a little... It like it stopped in midair too. Do you see that? Oh, it's because I threw one to the right and it was the uh, the gameplay slow motion, I think. But I I threw one to the left. There it is right there. It stalls in midair for a minute. It's a bottle I notice now. It keeps going. It keeps going. And then he's not stunned. What the hell, game? <laughs> What the heck? Let's continue on with our warm up. I guess I'm just gonna have to put this one on the end of the last run. Like it's gonna be one long YouTube video because I and I'm gonna rebuild the run from the beginning here. Um, but like I can't let that one go. What's giving me, giving me double damage? Cross hit gives me regen. Oh god. I call that in my business. We call that a skill issue. Says bubonic lettuce. I uh, didn't have the skills to pay the bills on that one. That's disappointing, but you know what? It's a lesson learned here. I have to be a little bit more careful about range of that stun throwable. Because some, uh, some items, like, in fact, I would like to say most ranged items, they don't have a range limit. They will just shoot until they hit something or until they drop and hit the ground. But I guess that throwing objects will just literally kind of dissipate in the air if it hits a maximum range. Which is interesting because, you know, realistically speaking, that's not how it works in Katana Zero. It will travel until it hits a wall, I believe. So, you know, technically speaking, the game is what's wrong. 
that's not how it works in Katana Zero, and, you know, clearly it's exactly the same mechanic in this game, right? Otherwise, why even have it in as a reference? <laughs> Stupid game developers. Um, reveal secret walls. Dude, I love that as an option. Everyone open their eyes. Your eyes are open. And watch with me as we try to ensure that we find all of these secret passages and tunnels and floor runes and wall runes and I would like to get as many scrolls as possible. Yeah. Well, actually. If I had a budget, I would totally uh, have my friend Baze Knight make me some emotes, but I don't. <laughs> Mud, thank you very much for the resubscription. 50 months. Thank you very much. Kaka. Have a good kaka to you as well. Get out of here. I need a, uh, I need ideas for emotes though. I think that would be a fun thing just to work on one of these days, as uh, lazy as I am. Does that show challenge rifts? Yes, there will be, so do you see that little uh, that little shine on that candle as I just walked through the hallway? I don't think it's gonna do it again. That little like shine on secrets, it'll trigger whether or not it's a, uh, a destructible floor or wall rune or a secret rune that is a rift. It's the same indicator and I'll, I'll point it out when I actually do see one. I've seen a couple, I just haven't pointed them out. Um, so it will show you the challenge rifts it's not quite as prominent as, you know, that accessibility option show secrets, uh, which whenever I've had it on has been really fun just to show you more easily all the, all the secrets, but okay, this is exactly the run that we had last time, almost, except we don't have the baseball bat, but we do have the iron staff. Um, so you do want to keep your eyes open on the floors. That, that right there. That happens whether or not it's a floor rune or a rift rune. Goofy moon still MIA. Yeah, that's, that's how lazy I am at actually making emotes. I still haven't made the ones I said I was gonna make. <laughs> um. We will uh, we'll do our damnedest to see if we can't find those rifts. Bada, bada, bada. Ironically, I feel like whenever I have this option, uh, reveal secret walls, I pay more attention to the floor so I don't need it as much. It's kind of a catch-22. If you don't have this, you're not really gonna be focusing too much, I think, on watching the ground at all time, but when you do have it, you're like, oh, I gotta pay attention for the, the, sh the shine now. So you're paying more attention to the shine. It's very interesting. I remember you were gonna do a wall mimic as a notification. A wall mimic? I don't know about wall mimic. Maybe mimic chest, absolutely. We all remember when you added the mimic and the shella boy. That was my uh, experimentation with animated emotes because I hadn't made an animated emote. So I made those ones and they were good. The Gungeon Shella Boy and the Gungeon Mimic. Ah, I gotta, gotta re-roll this crossbow. Eh, we can keep Shella Boy, or not Shella Boy, we can keep Mushroom Boy. Is this poison? Probably poison. Why is it poison? <laughs> We're in the promenade. <laughs> Thank you. All right, at the very least, we're back in the promenade. Not too far behind schedule. That's healing. <laughs> it's healing waters. It's a hot spring. You gotta rest to get your your soul back. And I'm not talking about... Uh, Undertale, that's the name of the game. Another game I've never actually played.
Gonk, 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 gonk. I don't know, maybe I'll just do a run with the, uh, with the explosive crossbow just because I love it so much. Donk, donk, donk. Oh no, I just realized. I didn't even get to use the Bible. <laughs> it was such a good Bible. Random legendary Bible. You love to see it. Ivana Coletta says, you say that. Coincidentally, the game I'm making is kind of inspired by Undertale. Oh, so you're gonna completely break the fourth wall? You're gonna change gaming as a medium? Good luck. <laughs> I'd love to hear more, actually. I really should uh, learn how to, like, do things in Unreal. Make a video game. Abe Clancy, the video game. It'll just be, it'll turn into, uh, you know, one of those streaming simulators. You know, like, Game Developer Simulator. Reviews of your game are subpar. What would you like to do? I never understood the draw of those. I mean, I, I get it's, it's really just a management simulator at its core. Wow, okay. A bit of a rude hit to take there. I understand why we took it though. I did turn around before the uh, explosion actually killed that bat, but that's okay. We need the HP now. We need the food as well, but we'll find some. Jackman says we need a Glock run. Dude, I would love a Glock run. Should have activated Mushroom Boy, but if I didn't activate him then, I'm gonna acknowledge that I'm probably not gonna activate him and I probably am not gonna, going to want him. Ah, you know. That's a pretty good get, I think. If we're gonna roll this for a while. Kanye says pizza required. Where's my pizza? No one thinks about their streamer. It's my pizza and I want it now. Yo, could you stop that please? You also need to stop that please. Was there any food? Oh my God, there wasn't. All right, don't die, Abe. Don't die for a second time in a row. <laughs> Maybe that's an indication that I should uh, just pop a heal, but I kind of refuse to at this point. I'm like, you know what? Screw you, game. You're not gonna get one up on me. Just play better, smarter, and faster. That's a hole. 2% of your HP per melee attack and a speed boost for 10 seconds sacrifice 36% of your maximum health. I mean, I'm at 8% health, so that's pretty likely to be positive, but... I could, you know what I could see that for if we end up getting another baseball bat? That's what I can see. You scared? Don't be. You're in good hands. Yeah, I would love to get a Glock run going too. Those are just some of my favorite runs here. Wait for the grenades to come off of cooldown, shall we? <laughs> oh, 
All right. Thank God we had a little bit of a platform to stand on. Dude, shuffle? It's all right, but I'm enjoying the weapons that we have right now. I do kind of want to go back and buy that upgraded crossbow, but we're almost at the end of the level, so let's just finish it off and then we'll backtrack for, for the loot. I'm incredibly surprised that what we have not actually found on this run yet is any HP. None has dropped, I don't think. And I haven't found any in the floor runes, which is a funny to me because I can see them more easily. Wait for it. Oh, hold on. AJD, welcome. How are you doing today? Hello. Hello. A little more HP. 1500. Sorry, 1499. You have to acknowledge that it is on sale. You can say less than $15! Yeah. Sure. Whatever you say. Stun duration plus 50%. I find that on a lot of of items, stun duration plus 50%, a lot of flashbangs, I guess. I feel like at a certain point all flashbangs just kind of have that on as a as a stat. Wow, nice miss. Hope Dead Cells is treating you well today. Oh, it has not, <laughs> but it's all on me, really. There we go. I knew there would have to be some food at some point. I have been I have been looking for that HP. Man, I miss the time when disengagement would give you infinite charges, too. I miss you, disengagement. Please come back to me. Um, I guess I'm glad you didn't teleport yet, because... I do kind of need to, uh... Deal with these enemies first. Oh, now that's food. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now that's food, volume three! Oh, the stun duration on that was absurdly long. I don't remember it ever being that long. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I don't have the the weapon loadout that we had last time. So why don't we just go and grab the better crossbow, shall we? And we can also. We really wanted to. Sorry, just taking a drink here. We could also re-roll and see if we can get something a little bit better. So we'll roll this, and let's see what we get, and see what we get, and see what we get, and see what we get. All right, well, 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 well. Just, I really do want to get a baseball going on here. Baseball bat, rather. Peanut butter jelly. Dun, 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 At least in theory, I won't accidentally get myself killed here because I have a maybe better chance of being at range and actually landing my shots now. It's 20% damage, ammo plus three. Fair enough. What's the legendary crossbow? Isn't it like piercing? It's unusual, but that would be a, a nice thing to, to find and pick up for sure. I'll take a, a, a Bible though, if the game wants to give me one.
AJD says that's the thing about this game, it's hard but fair. I uh I mentioned this, you know, in the past at some point, but there's a difference to me about a game that's difficult like Dead Cells and difficult in like Darkest Dungeon, because in Darkest Dungeon, sometimes your failures are disconnected by some steps from the decisions that you've made, you know, by not block, uh, putting up a defend, maybe someone died, and, you know, there is a correlation there, but it's not like a one-to-one -one correlation. In Dead Cells, in Roguelites, and Isaac, in Rogue Legacy, you know, if you get hit, it's on you, you know, you know what you did wrong as soon as it happens, you're like, I should not have dodged there or I didn't realize that enemy was attacking, but I could have noticed that. You know, it's fair because all of the information you need is on screen at every moment, and tactically, the mistakes that you make are immediate, usually immediately punished. So you know what you did wrong, and you can essentially correct those mistakes for the future. One more. So I, I learned something previously. I learned uh, a very important lesson on skill range. <laughs> a lesson I'd rather not learn, ever, but a lesson that has to be l learned at some point, and now I've learned that lesson, you know? It's an immediate skill that I can implement without requiring I should not be backtracking now. We should backtrack later if we if we really want to. I can implement that information immediately. I don't have to unlock anything for it. Just have to unlock my brain. Got an ad after in Dead Cells. Can you say that again? No. <laughs> Cause you wanna if you wanna hear it, watch the VOD. Look, all I, all I basically said was get good. In Dead Cells, it's a game of getting good. And if you bad, we'll get good. Ah, oh, jerk. God, they're so fast. <laughs> Two extra jumps. Nah, I keep revealing secret walls because I see one right here. I saw another one. I guess maybe I don't have to focus so much because in theory we're going to find some shines, you know? Uh, Rapier, Death Scythe, no thank you. Nah. 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 Woo! It's only, oh, it's 40% bonus damage, though. Mm, but this one has 20% bonus damage, but more ammo. If this was a mimic, this would be a nice, sizable upgrade. It's not a mimic. The crossbow hit damage, or, yeah, the crossbow hit is not that much higher, but the ex explosive crossbow is 40% higher. Well, sorry, 24% higher. You know, I, I, it's 10 grand. I actually don't think it's worth the upgrade. We're gonna get more item choices later. I think I'd rather not just spend all of the cash that I'd have to spend. Okay. I'm a little disappointed in that. Really, I tried to, uh, I tried to climb down the chain and I got stuck. I got stuck even though I had started the animation for climbing down the chain. I've, I've come across that before in the past. It's not a bug so much as it is just like a weird behavior of the engine. As you start like a climb animation, you can get pulled out of it in certain situations. I saw that shine.
No. You know what? Just freaking die, please. Thank you. Tiny says, I love to eat pizza with sriracha, but it makes me sweat way too much. I live to regret it every time. Sriracha on a pizza, huh? Just give me some, like... Oh, I didn't have a triple jump. I hate that jump. Just give me a... Uh... Parmesan, red pepper. Okay, don't don't die to the damn traps. Considering I could die to the traps at any moment, I should probably heal. Hey, AJD, thank you very much for the subscription. Let's make sure that no ads interrupt you again. You know what? Secretly, that's that's why I didn't repeat myself because you know you gotta <laughs> gotta be subscribed to get all of the the true Abe knowledge and and good takes. I really hate this. You know what? Just heal. <laughs> I call a little bit of BS for getting pulled off of the ladder, but I understand that that mechanic exists in the game. I just, I don't like it. Let's keep the current amulet up. Being able to see free secrets is pretty nice. That's gonna hurt. Oh, I got hit by the second attack too? Die! <laughs> Very glad I healed, I guess. I'm just taking so much damage today. What the heck is my problem? I'm not playing as well as I need to be playing. Uh, I don't want any of this. Premium experience. Let's go to the ossuary. Oh, we screwed up the map somehow. I don't know what causes that bug. <sighs> I should really take my own advice and just get good. <laughs> My favorite crossbow is the ice crossbow. Explosive is second. I'm not a fan of the ice crossbow because it is, um, it's inconsistent in the application of the freeze, not only on bosses because they get immune, but also on normal enemies if you don't have piercing shots on it. And it, uh, if the enemy's not frozen, it doesn't do as much damage as it needs to do to kill enemies. The explosive crossbow is just, it's good enough on its own. It doesn't need synergies. It doesn't need to apply the uh, the frost. You just shoot it. You just shoot it and things die. It's incredible. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. Kind of like kill rhythm. Alternate weapon attacks to increase speed. I'm always alternating attacks with this thing anyways. Why not? I guess you can get synergies with the frozen, like plus damage on frozen targets, but much more interested in uh... Oh, this feels really good actually. That improved uh, attack rate, I think, is going to be quite nice. Helps me to output the damage just a little bit faster. AJD says, got all my early flawlesses with the ice crossbow. That's why it's got a place in my heart. I'm sure, Pete, if you really wanted to, you could watch all of my Dead Cells runs to know what my favorite weapons are and 
why they are. You know, I'm sure I have those moments as well that are affecting my judgment now of, oh, I like this because I remember in the back of my mind that at one point I had a run and the explosive crossbow let me kill the Hand of the King for the first time or something. Do I specifically remember those instances? No. AJD says, I'm working on that playlist, don't you worry. I'm, uh, it's good to hear that. It's good to hear that people do like binge watching series. It's the reason why I do it, because I like doing that. You know, if I'm watching someone play a game, I want to see someone play a game and enjoy it from the front to the back, you know? Okay, if you're a mimic, uh, oh, dude, Cannon is, is actually pretty damn good here. What am I looking for? This is a self synergy, too. That's pretty interesting. Um, let's go Cannon. That's, that's wild. I don't think I've ever seen a, an easy self synergy Toxic Cloud Poison. That's, that's weird. AJD says it's hard for me to watch old Dead Cells. Now, that is that is a fair point that you bring up as well. You know, Dead Cells is a game that has had a long early access and a long development time. So sometimes the old runs, they don't feel that good. Uh, they're missing mechanics or balancing that you've grown used to. That's why I come back to Dead Cells every once in a while and I have like, you know, 80 runs of uh, Castlevania, like a hundred runs of Queen in the Sea, so you can pick up wherever you want. You don't have to watch it from the beginning if you don't want to. Maybe don't expect me to tutorialize it every time I come back to the game, to the extent that uh, maybe I should, but it's all there. I'm handling this floor a little bit incorrectly as well. Uh, we need to be getting through it faster. There's a guaranteed curse chest in the ossuary and we need to get to a point where we're cursed, but there's guaranteed enough enemies remaining to purge that curse before the boss fight. This is the wrong way. So we need... We need to be running through some of these enemies, leaving them behind. And then coming back to get them later. Hmm. Whoa! Ranged enemies I should probably leave because they're an easy kill later. But I just want to see what this is. Hayabusa Boots! Last hit of the combo. Sorry, the last hit damages all enemies around you and pushes them back. Add it if they're thrown against the wall. Bumps enemies farther. I, I have no idea. Let's quickly, though, uh, find that curse chest and handle that. Stop going after the turret, please. Anything good? Anything good? Anything good? Well, there's the meat cleaver. Hey, you. So we can we can always pick that up. Okay, thrown objects. On the off chance that we get a. Uh... Come on. Oh my God! There's so many. Yeah, that faster swing is really nice there. We can, uh, we should probably drop the staff and at least pick this up, right? Hey, get out of here. Probably drop the staff and take the legendary Hayabusa boots and then we can just play around with those for a little while and if we don't like it, we don't like it, we can dump it, but first things first, we gotta handle the curse chest and there's so much to do on this floor and it's a long floor. Thank you for that speed increase. 
<laughs> I can just hallways of nothing. Sounds like my real life. <laughs> Come on. AJD hey says, I'm closing up on finishing the Gungeon playlist, then I'm gonna start Dead Cells. Freaking good luck. You can take a four month break from Dead Cells and come back to five updates, says Mud. Yeah. And honestly, that's kind of like my ideal Dead Cells experience. I, I really like taking a break, coming back after like a couple of updates, and then seeing what all is new. I could just like be playing it continuously, but that's that's a little much for me. But they always do such a good job with the updates, I wanna keep coming back to it. Uh, there's the curse chest. Uh, how many enemies do we have remaining right now? Very few, so we should probably go grab that curse chest right now. Malay's level is still increasing, but that's okay. Yeah, lots of weird long hallways in the ossuary. Ossuary. Kind of strange level generation. Rather, it's like that all the time. It's just a little strange. Uh, okay, let's go this way. Individual enemies around here are not going to be too terrible to deal with, I hope. Murdered him pretty quickly. Good job. There's a hey you. Hey, you! Less worried about those guys when I can do a quick little one-two tap. Two enemies up here. That was very kind of like stupidly handled. I should not have done the wall run, I should have just attacked him, but... Bad timing on my part. Man. Sepulchre also have really long hallways. What Sepulchre has that's interesting is all of the like passageways to different tombs. Tomes, tombs, yeah, that's the right one. You know, you've got like a teleport tomb, you use it, you go to another teleport tomb, you use it, you go to another teleport tomb, and there's no no enemies, no landmarks. That's what's interesting to me about the Sepulchre. Jumping on an enemy stuns it. How about no? But we're done with the floor. I think that went pretty well. And, ah, there's like a cluster of enemies. There is a, a couple of elites that I didn't kill either, so we will backtrack for them. Uh, and there was a shop we wanted to look at. There's a few things to do. Yeah, there's a scroll left. There's also the food on the ground. Oh, it's gastronomy. Should not have eaten it yet, but that's okay. We had to come this way anyways. Just go fast, keep that damage bonus going. It's a 44% damage bonus right now. Oh, dude, I just one-shot him. That's a good damage bonus. You know what? I should not have eaten the food, because with the extra scroll, now it's a higher damage bonus. Freaking dummy. Oh, there's actually a doorway we haven't done either. And we do want to go down there, because we can buy a heal. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. All right, good, leave. Gotta go fast. Don't need it. Don't need it. 
Mm, can't do anything. Go, 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 go. Move, 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 move. It's a five minute timer, so like we have plenty of time. It's just, gotta go. Yo, uh, mm, never mind. <laughs> I, was, I was actually, so here's what I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask, can you get, that's garbage. Can you get a mimic? Fuck. Sorry, F off. I didn't say anything bad. Can you get a wall mimic in the food shops and then I realized, no, you can't. You cannot get wall mimics in the back doors. They only can spawn on the main primary level shops. Oh, Hukuto's bow. If I wanted to go faster, I would possibly wish the Hukuto's bow, but I do wanna wanna keep the pace. I've never encountered a mimic in a back door. I uh, I know you can't, because I I've read that in the patch notes at one point in the past. That's why I forgot and then I remembered. In the patch notes, in in one of the patches, it says they're not in back doors. This guy, he like doesn't get resistance to the stun. You can just keep stunning him over and over again. If you can combine uh, the stun grenade, the baseball bat, and then the perk that is crits give you, or is it like attacks on stunned enemies give you cooldown reduction? You can just keep him stunned literally forever. Wall mimic's not up for the backdoor fun. Victim of bleeding spreads at sinew slicer nine. Yeah, we'll take it. I love the scavenge to bombard self synergy. Toxic cloud plus damage on poison targets, but this is really good and it doesn't stun. Scavenge to bombard almost got me hit a couple of times in that fight by stunning the enemy in the middle of his attack, the bridge boss. But this just does bleed damage. It spreads the bleed damage. It's fantastic. Shots piercing. The biters we can roll out of. And then, um, you know, maybe we can build poison synergy and bleed synergy with this. That's a good weapon. It's a good weapon. He's a punching bag at this point. He is the easiest boss. I mean, you know. Shots pierce all enemies, take less damage, and plus damage on a poison target. We don't have any synergies, but I'm not gonna spend a lot of money right now re-rolling into things. Let's just keep moving on. Yeah, at least I did get rid of the biters. By the way, Zyomkin and Lemon, welcome. How are you guys doing today? Should I go now? Still haven't gone to Stilt Village. Last time I was going to do that, the game was like, you're gonna go to the, uh, you're gonna go to the, Bank, right? And I did, I went to the bank. But I do love that Fractured Shrine's legendary nonsense. Uh, we can maybe go Undying Shores Mausoleum. I feel like I haven't fought the Scarecrow recently. That's a large AoE. Like, that is, that's a incredibly large AoE. Maybe we'll try that. Honk. Lose a little bit of ranged, but uh, pick up a little bit of extra point blank damage. Wait, are these biter boots? Hold on, I gotta check. Um, they are biter boots, but you know what? Maybe that's okay. Oops, hold on, swap that. I do like 
being able to knock enemies off of ledges and whatnot, but you can do that with the Hayabusa boots as well. I mean, knockback is a very important part of the weapon. I did see the rune, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Oh! All right, let's go this way. Okay, land, kick, kick. Oh, God dang you, Bobby. I don't know. Oh my god, he's attacking the biters. Hopefully he doesn't want to come and attack me. I gotta... <sighs> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. We have to do this anyways. Let's do the uh, let's do the curse chest, and I'm, but I'm gonna do it with the bow, because I think it's better. And then after we do that, then I'm, I'll use Hayabusa boots for the rest of the floor. We'll also maybe check out the... Um, Check out the secret door and, well, not so much of a secret, is it? But we'll check out the door and see what kind of extra legendary we can pick up potentially. Gotta be careful of this guy because he was attacking biters a minute ago. Give it a second. AoE bleed is pretty nice. A little careful. Get him to come over here and then... Nice. Come down here. See ya. It's not a victim of bleed, it's a victim while bleeding. Subtly different. I don't know how we got that curse lifted, but I'll take it. Seems like a good room to uh, lock this down on. Big cat, porch, double burn. Flint attacks are always fully charged. Oh my God. 14,000 DPS and it's actually higher, I think. <laughs> I mean, oh God, sorry, I was just drinking some coffee. I mean, attacks are always fully charged. The attacks, are always fully charged. This is like the worst choice because I want all of these. I want I want the huge cat. I want a double damage over time torch for fire synergies and I want the flint because it's always fully charged. Fully charged. God, it's just like, the damage is absurd. It'll one, it'll one hit everything at this point. And that's like not even up for debate. And it's got the range on it as well. Uh, I think the sparks light oil on fire, is that correct? Torch is weak. It's not so much about the torch, clunk. It's not so much about the torch damage. It's really about the torch maybe enabling some uh, good double damage on burn synergies and then also just doing good damage on its own because it is double stacks of uh, of fire. I really like the double damage torch. Weak compared to that shot. Yeah. 
It is weak compared to just one tapping everything. And the shockwave did half damage on that guy. It two shot him. Good lord. Bonk. Oh my lord. Hey, I want that. Dun, 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 dun. He's not coming. Oh, he's coming after me. He's not coming after me. I like the uh, the legendary torch and the legendary uh, alchemic pistol, but I really like those damage over time weapons too. Especially the pistol. The alchemic pistol is is beautiful, but I like stacking up that damage. That damage can be rather meaningful. Do we want a stun grenade? Uh, there's oil burns. Bleeding, we, we gotta get a bleed synergy at some point. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Cat? Throw the cat at things? Have it do cat damage? You can get flame on nearly anything, simple necklace might be enough. Yeah, like I guess if you could get a, uh, you know, flames on a downwards attack. But, uh, you can't get it on nearly anything. On things like the Hayabusa boots or the stun grenade, it would be victims burn when they die. Sinew slicer can create fire. Projectiles release a trail of flames, but you'd have to reroll into it. It's harder to get. The torch is just, it's good damage too. Like you just smack them once and they die. Last runs we had cat. We did have cats at some point. Uh. I, I don't know what I'm looking for. We definitely do not need the stun grenade. We do enough damage. We could upgrade it and just have another one. 2% more damage, or 2% less damage received. I don't know, none of those are particularly interesting. Wolf trap, you know, the grenade could be kind of fun just to get some damage done, but uh, just re-roll and re-roll and... Root Grenade is okay. Death Orb. I haven't done a Death Orb in a while. Good old Death Orb. 5,000 DPS. Plus damage on a burning target, plus 15% damage. Yeah. Nothing interests me there. Harrison asks, is this a good run? It's a great run right now. Ugh. Well, give me a minute, because I got to get my health back now. That's not going to be a problem, though. That's a, a stupid way of taking damage, but, you know, just ignore me. Okay. Conk. Ah, you know what we need to do? I just realized this right now. We need to get rid of... We need to get rid of the um, alternate weapon speed. I'm not alternating weapon speeds anymore. Spiders are from the boots. We're not going to be using... We're not going to be using that often. I just want to have a little bit of fun with the Hayabusa boots before I dump them. See ya. Even push that guy off because you're hitting me.
All right, let's go. Let's go heal up, and then we will get the heck out of here. Finish off the floor, rather. So have a bit to do. Eh, we don't need the food. Ah, don't. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter if we eat it now or later because we are not gonna fight a boss immediately after this. You know what? We have the money. Oh, I'm gonna love that dude who followed you to the end. I think uh, between level two and level three, they get a faster teleport, don't they? Always annoys the crap out of me because you're like, how are you still following me? <sighs> the platforming is not going very well today. See ya. <laughs> Random weapons. What what weapon could I take at this point? Maybe the ice shard, just to kind of toss it out there. Maybe a shield, to have it in the backpack. We had a higher damage flint, but we can reroll this one to be higher damage. Iron staff? No. Actually, you know what? If we go and fight the scarecrow, the iron staff wrecks him. It wrecks him. So let, let's equip that for a minute. Actually, you know what? Let's equip that instead of the boots. So I've got a parry on Y. Death Orb's cool, but is it slow getting to the target? I guess my thinking for Death Orb was I wouldn't mind having a weapon that is for tanky things like elites where I can just step up to their face, release the death orb, hit him a couple of times, and then hopefully that combined damage kills them, or bosses. You know, keep them moving into the death orb, because they're not gonna die in one hit, but. Yeah, I like, uh, like this run we've got right here. Dun, 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 Sorry! So yeah, ideal rerolls would be the pick getting plus damage on bleeding and then plus 40% damage raw. I never get to 60 on this map, says AJD. Uh, I, I can if I'm trying. I'm not particularly uh, trying. That's my excuse for taking so much damage. <laughs> oh, I could, I could do it if I wanted. Hey, got one. Got the, okay, there we go. <laughs> Sad to make it back. Had to make it back. We done. We are done. Yeah, let's go fight the Scarecrow. Because with a good iron staff, I, I can't quite remember exactly the ideal strategy. Is it like parry once, roll past him attack? Or is it parry, roll, run, then attack? Or is it just parry and let your like traps do all the work? I, I kind of forget exactly my, my previous strategies for dealing with him. Crits plus 30% damage. I mean, that's real good. What would, what would we want here? We would want... I mean, we could just go 33% more health. We could get an armadillo pack for a shield parry too, which would be nice. I'm just gonna go for the health. Can't go wrong. Uh, dude, cavern. Level 12 equipment. 10 grand in the pocket.
Uh, we can come back to the Undying Shores later. Have you tried Symmetrical Lance Legendary? I've had that, I think, once. Only once. But it is good. Dun 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 I figure our damage is good enough to do this floor, and if we come across those elites, we can just smack them with the, uh, the iron staff to parry them. Rex spoiler boss? So I, I, I was actually talking about this earlier, AJD. Uh, legendary Symmetrical Lance, it's good damage? I don't feel it being, like, as OP on the boss. On spoiler boss. Because it does do damage while he's shielded, but not as much as I thought. Dude, I love freezing enemies. And he's gonna grow. But that went beautifully. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. Not gonna roll that. 36,000 DPS. The flint is almost at that amount of damage already. Gotta be a little careful. Specifically, a guy like that can be a little dangerous to deal with, and you're gonna be shooting at the turret. Three enemies remaining. That was unnecessary. One enemy remaining. Dun, 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 dun. You know what? <laughs> what? I don't know why I looked at that situation like, do I want to go up or down? How about you just kill the extremely easy enemy? Actually, like getting extra gold from these guys too. Could this be the best Pave has ever played in the bank? It's possible. I think I broke him once with it. Oh, like broke the AI patterns on that uh, that final boss using um, shield piercing symmetrical lance. That would be fun. Uh, you know what? Actually, I think I did as well. I think. It skips one phase, or maybe I did enough damage with the shield blaster, shield buster, to break him out of one of his phases. But yeah, you know what? Now that you've mentioned it, I think I've had that happen to myself too, which is cool. But yeah, it's, uh, I mean, just the raw damage makes it a great weapon. <laughs> Big boy. Got him. Should have probably gone for the, uh, oh my God. Got him. Should have probably tried to go for the, uh, the 60 by not going for like the, oh, I'm just gonna kill the extra enemies strategy. The gold, of course, but whatever. What's done is done. I can heal up there if I need to, but we can buy food. God, it's just so easy. You just smack them once and everything dies. Hello, my shop. I think if there's a mimic in the shop, it shouldn't take your money. Because it's always a surprise to me when it does take my money. Pixely, welcome, how are you doing today? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Why? 
Good evening. You I can get extra money out of. Give me a second. <laughs> that didn't work, but I wanted to see if I could parry. I forgot that... Well, this is a different iron staff, but I forgot that it might actually, in fact, throw a freaking grenade. Where are we going? Yeah. Two free flasks are kind of OP. Not... Un not if you realize that you do have to fight the Mimic for them, and he's very difficult. I'll acknowledge that that is a, a nice swing in the player's favor. Uh, and you are, I guess, right, you know, 20 grand for free, it's, it's actually a 40 grand value, is a, a little on the, on the powerful side. But I, I, oh, oh, I didn't even see you. I always just find it annoying that you, uh, lose the money if you didn't actually intend to buy something. Like, you just want to compare in your inventory for a second, and then you, you realize, oh, I guess I gotta fight him now. the compare thing. Yeah, like, I guess that's another way of handling it. Just make it so that it uh, only takes your money when you buy it, not when you do the comparison. Because that happens to me sometimes. I accidentally buy something when I don't intend to. I just want to look. I just want to compare. Such a minor gripe, but considering the Mimic can spawn anywhere, sometimes it does take you off guard and you're like, ah, crap, my money. I needed that to buy things! <laughs> that wasn't this! Hey, get out of here. Um, this to me feels like a trap. Nope. Was not a trap. I say trap, what I mean is, uh, big already summoned elite, uh, gorger, but no, nope. it was not there. It was not in fact a trap. Whoa, 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 let's hold off for a second there. What do we got in here? Not big balls. Same trap. <laughs> when it was bank only, it's okay, you know he's gonna be there. Yeah, that's true. I suppose it is a little bit less of a problem when it's just the bank, because you're like, okay, I could fight the Mimic here. But you do forget in other places. Yeah, we can, uh... We can get rid of those Hayabusa boots at this point. I think it's safe to say we're not gonna be using those at this point. Uh, and we're done. We fought everything. Can we spawn in the lab? Astrolab? That's a good question, I don't know. I 
I do not know. I would assume so. Pizza over welcome. I just joined. How are you good at Dead Cells? I've got 500 hours, 300 episodes, pretty much. <laughs> Played it a lot. Played it a lot, a lot, a lot. Explosive crossbow, tombstone. I guess I'm just looking for an iron staff at this point. That's what I would take. Even the giant killer damage. Like, for the flint, does the DPS crit value, does that assume you're charging it? Because if you're not charging it to get that value that quick, you've got to be doing like 200,000 damage, right? Feels like it's even higher than, than on the weapon. I don't know though. Man, the baseball bat. Different run, a different run. Oh, dude, we have to get an iron staff. We can get a level 14 staff. Or a level 14 shovel. Let's see. Or a level 14 Bible. Man, it, mm. if I knew that you could stun the boss and had enemies to charge that. Not a mimic. Uh, but I am still going to buy it. Double damage baseball bat. Now that's tempting. Get rid of the DPS thing and replace it with damage on hit. Uh, I disagree. I think that they just need to fix the DPS calculations because some items are wrong. Um, I like the fact that everything is a DPS value because that way you can directly compare without knowing attack rating. Like, how would you compare the DPS of Nerves of Steel versus Paroglyphs? One's fast and has like a crit time window and the other one does different damage depending on your current health. Like, it's very difficult to compare. Or broadsword versus panchaku, you know? On paper, it look, it's gonna look like the broadsword is be better, but you really do need that DPS value. But again, the problem is that not all items are correct. And it leaves a little bit of ambiguity in the mix too, because you're like, what happens when you're talking about something like... Uh... The legendary flint. Is it taking into account that I can fire this more, more quickly? I don't know. But doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because I'm still gonna use it because I like it and it's good and it does a lot of damage. And we're gonna get this HP and get even more damage, and then we're gonna hopefully like four shot the boss. We could also go fight the the giant. I think the giant would be insanely easy. But uh, I want to get more practice in on Scarecrow. And no Mimic. Yay, we don't have to fight the Mimic. Wait, 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 wait. Reroll this. Plus 20% damage. It's pretty good. Let's save money to reroll the flint. We don't need to reset mutations. All right, let's go fight him. I guess we're not gonna go fight the giant. We are gonna go fight this guy because he's the only exit. Okay. I do have three jumps now, which is very nice. All right, so the scarecrow is really annoying. Let's let's murder him.
Hey! Thank you, Sinew Slicer. Thank you. <laughs> Why do you fall so slowly there? You went through the Undying Shores exit, so it's the only exit. <sighs> yes and no. Uh, there's a particular path. I believe if you go to the... No, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'm trying to remember a, pre a previous run. I believe we went to like Nest Bank, but because that path offered Stilt Village Graveyard or Fractured Shrines, and you can get to any follow-up location from either of those three places, we had four options for pathing. But you're all right, that does make sense because if you go from, we went specifically to the Undying Shores, which meant that the only path from that, if it replaced the bank, was awesome. Seismic Strike. Roots Enemies. Nah. Ground line attack build. You know, maybe, uh, I guess maybe if I had that with the um, alternate attack speed buff, that could be kind of fun, but. Nah, it's just like, it does a quarter of the damage of something like the Iron Staff on the crits. Like, I just don't see the, I don't see the value of it unless you're specifically rolling re root required build. We are here. We can go. Could go distillery. I mean, with the flint, the distillery is going to be pretty easy minus the traps. And then from that, we could go to. I kind of want to go fight spoiler boss because we have a powerful run. So we could go Derelict Distillery into Throne Room, but doesn't the High Peak Castle give you more value? Biome, dead cells. God, can't freaking preview the damn image because it just goes to the freaking Reddit overlay page. Uh. Here we go. Derelict Distillery is four scrolls, two fragments. High Peak Castle is four scrolls, two fragments. Hmm. Shipwreck is five scrolls, three fragments. So if you want to... It's actually more fragments. Uh, three and three for the Derelict Distillery and the High Peak Castle. But if you're going to the, to the lighthouse, you don't want to go derelict distillery. You're missing out on a scroll. But going to the throne room, it doesn't matter what path you take, you get the same value. Even the loot quality is the same, it looks like. So, yeah, we, we can totally go derelict distillery if we would like to try. Why not? It's been a while, as they say. I'm not going to spend money rerolling perks. We're just going to go in. AJD says, castle is better, I think. I like the castle more. It's more fun, and it's not BS, but because the game is incentivizing it, I'm doing this so that I get to suffer, and you all get to watch me suffer. Let's be honest, this is what we're all here for. Pain. Where 
where the hell am I going? We wanna... We wanna hit that button, I think, just to make the uh, path here a little bit more easy to deal with. And then we want to... I, I guess we're going down? I don't know where I'm going, okay? So let's open the shortcut door here. Oh my god, go down. <laughs> Apparently I didn't need to do any of that like upwards platforming, I could have just stayed down. You're going to win this run. I definitely hope I'm going to win this run. It's a good run. And not only just because of the, the sick flint we have. Sick flint. would be a great nickname for someone to have. Yeah, that's my friend, sick flint. Nice how the enemies wait for you to get the scrolls. You will uh, certainly notice I abuse the heck out of that sometimes, especially um, fighting the uh, Arbiters. When you, when you kill them, they uh, create a bomb, and if you pick up a scroll, you don't get hit by the bomb at all. I abuse that all of the time, because I hate those guys. Oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze. You know what, at this point, let's see if we can get a better stun grenade or active. If we're gonna go the path of the king, we might want something that's not the stun grenade because it doesn't do anything on him. Crusher, uh, I don't know if it does anything on him. Cannon is damage. 10,000 DPS, 10,000, I mean, it is good. I have 30,000 HP, my god. But, we can probably get better. Or worse. Ah, there we go. For some reason, devs thought it was a good idea to have Arbiters in the first area at some point. Here's a little tidbit for you. Uh, one of the early alphas for Enter the Gungeon had red mages on the first floor. You know those enemies that normally only appear on floor four? Yeah, they were first level enemies. Granted, it was a you know preview of the game and so they just wanted to show things off, but they were freaking ridiculous. A giant whistle. Dear God, why? Exactly. See ya. What did you kill? Yo, that's good food. Oh my God, I hate these dang old traps, man. Ah, oh, there goes the door. Can we go down there? Oh, no! I don't want to do any exploration if I don't have to. I, I want to explore some of this stuff later. when I can potentially just ignore all of it. Oh my god, what the heck? 
Okay. This is just for a secret. I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not going that way. You can't make me. shop, which means that there's a teleporter. Random weapons. Are you going to be a mimic? It's possible. Symmetrical lance. Pretty much the only thing I would pick up is another iron staff, just for parrying potential. Because I don't need anything else. I'm not going to be getting rid of the flint. Are you crazy? Yeah, so screw all this. Maybe the frost blast, I suppose but I do like having the option to parry if we need to, and in fact, even against the uh, the boss, maybe we would like to have a little bit of parry potential, you know? You can grab the barrels with your head. Yep. <laughs> for, uh, for some of the traps where you need the barrel launcher, you could just do that. Use your head to grab an explosive barrel and activate a trap. Absolutely. Oops. AJD says, I saw, I saw someone do it and it blew my, blew my mind. Rossed says, I didn't know about that for ages either. I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I don't know the first time I did that. I don't think I was told though. I think I was just like, Hey, I wonder if I can grab things with my head. Because um, right, right here, right about here, there's a falling barrel trap and then an explosive door. And uh, I have attacked that in order to, you know, move the barrel. But I think I've also tried the head there and that's when I first learned that. But I, I could be wrong because I, mean, I don't remember. Expect me to remember things. I saw that coming. At least it wasn't a freaking trap. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> so let's see. Um. Thank you. Uh, there's a scroll fragment up there. We're gonna have to go buy that at, or go grab that at some point. I guess like for this room, you know, there's a there's a puzzle that's trying to be solved here. Like you gotta hit the door and then bounce the projectile back. But you know, you can also just grab it with your head. You know, use your head. La 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 la. Use your head. La la la. This one is the one where I, I like originally realized, I think, that the easiest way of doing it is just grabbing your head. Oh no, this is where you have to have the barrel launcher, or you could just do that. Right, 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 right. Sorry. Sneeze. <laughs> Lemon says, I used to play with joystick, not regretting the change. That is easier to control with a joystick. You know, that's actually a very good point. I should probably try that, but it's not that hard to control with the D-pad. There are situations where it's a little annoying, but it's not terrible. Ow! Uh-oh. You know what? Just get out. <laughs> Ignore the traps. Hey. Hey. We're gonna make it out of here without even needing the barrel trap, which is nice. Or the, the barrel gun. Where is it? Oh my god, I... It's all the way down here. I just completely whiffed on it. Oh 
Oh, I'm a lumberjack. Oh, that's not the right song for that, but hopefully you get the idea. Yo, they, they show up on the map. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know why I never realized that. Whoa, what the heck? You trying to get me killed? Nope, get out of here. Oh. All right, scroll fragment is like the only thing we missed out on. There's food, we're gonna recycle the food. I uh, I think I'm gonna recycle the, the big food too. I don't think I really need it. And I would much rather have that sizable damage bonus, 38%. That's solid. There's an achievement for doing this without the barrel. I mean, I, I think I have the achievement, because I have all of the achievements. Unless it's just one that I uh, bypassed for some reason. Like, may, is it a Steam-only achievement, not an in-game achievement? You're still alive? You're still alive, you piece of crap. I freaking hate you and your crap. Ah, there's always a hidden one right here for some reason. Get out of the way. Teleporter? No teleporter. We're not going to the lighthouse though, so we can, uh... we can just use this teleporter and we are leaving. We're gonna recycle all the food and we're gonna get out. Steam achievement? Hold on. Does this capture the overlay? It does not. Uh, oh my god, they changed the freaking Steam overlay. Where's the achievements? There it is, achievements. I have all of them. I have 121 achievements. There you go. Um, thank you. Overlay's a mess. Well, I know that they were working on quote-unquote improving it, but there are some issues with it. Or at least with the Steam update. I mean, the first day that the Steam UI update was live, <laughs> I noticed myself that the back button in the browser didn't work. That's like a pretty major bug to make it past QA. <laughs> Unfortunately, it raises the question of do they have a QA? That's, that's, that's kid stuff, you know? Make sure the back button works! Ugh. Oh, they got a complicated program. I'm giving them a little bit of a of a rough time, but it is, it is annoying. Da -da 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 -da. Why not remove a whole bunch of, you know, menu item links in the small mode? Here's a, here's the bug I've been experiencing with the Steam uh, UI lately, is sometimes the, the Steam small mode, I can't move it. I, I can't move the window. It's just, it, I can't resize it, I can't move it, it's just, it is where it is. So it's like stuck on the wrong monitor. I'm just like, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, it used like three gigabytes of memory the other day, and I'm like, what the hell? It's because it's, it's, it loads like eight Chrome tabs, and it doesn't release the memory for them. Ugh. <sighs> It's the UI, it's the web layer that uses so much freaking memory. So if it uses a lot of memory, just restart Steam and then don't ever browse the store because if you do that, it loads Google browser tabs. Well, Chrome browser tabs because it's just running Chrome in the background. Okay, we have a lot of money. I would like to level up the Flint to hopefully get 40% damage bonus or even just bleeding bonus. We don't do poison. Rooted. 
Poison. Slowed down. Electrified. Stunned. None. Okay, so we lost damage, I think, on the flint, but I think it was worth the attempt, just to see what we could get out of it. And we're on the throne room. Disable the animated profile icons? Hmm. I haven't noticed those being slow, but I haven't looked into it at all. But maybe that's something to check out. Good luck. I mean, I hope so. Oh, you dick! I thought I had him. Where am I? Oh my god. Well, I learned something today. What I learned is the giant fist kept resetting his attack timings. I got hit like three times because of that. I'd fist him and then he his timing would change so my dodge roll didn't work anymore. Thanks, giant. He's secretly working for the king, I believe. He's not my friend, although it is kind of funny when he punches himself in the giant uh, boss fight. Yeah, when um when the boss did like the left and right sweep, I was uh I lost track of where I was standing and he pushed me into the into the pit and I was like, I don't know where I am. I anticipated the dodge to work, and so when he hit me, I didn't know where I was, and I very much lost track of where I was. I almost got hit on the spikes multiple times, but luckily I didn't. That was very very silly though. Not a... Not a great... Demonstration of... The giant... Fist. Which is otherwise... It's otherwise a fantastic weapon, but I guess maybe just don't use it on that fight in particular, because if it interrupts you... You're gonna be in for a bad time, I think. Go. Thank you. Okay, skulls. The screaming skull. Zealous TV, welcome. Dead cells is forever. Dead cells is forever. Yes, I agree. Though. Dead cells is. Timeless. Whoa, he's so fast. <laughs> I love this game. Hey, no, get out. Get over here. Man, we are. We are going down, down, down. I don't even have the keys, so we're gonna have to come back. I feel like I actually skipped quite a lot, quite a lot here. Spoilers: If he is working for the king, does it not imply he's working for you? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Now I'm remembering the true value of the, the giant fist, which is basically you can one-hit any enemy, including elites. It's just a, a single enemy wipe every 20 seconds. You're like, I don't want to deal with this enemy right now. I'm just gonna, just gonna delete him.
suddenly Yoda. Dude, I have 4D thousand HP. You jerk. He hit me for 2,000. He hit me for 5% of my health. There we go. God, that's... <laughs> that is the value of the giant fist. Okay, I have remembered. Just one hit kill any enemy you don't want to deal with. Then again, we do that with the primary attack anyways. Just one hit kill anything we don't want to deal with. Kong, kong, kong. You do have eight and six. Really, it's the um, increase your health by 40%, which is what's doing it. But yeah, we have eight and six. You know, I've... Uh, I took every scroll we could in, in green. That's just the way that the the points managed to distribute themselves in our run. I wonder what the most scrolls I've had is uh, in a single run. Like in the primary stat. Last week I did have a run where we picked up four bonus scrolls by the, the fourth floor, which was amazing. I think we had a, a bonus cursed chest as well. But I wonder what the highest main stat I've had is. Could have done Electro there, but I like what we got. There was a secret. Wall secret or floor secret? Sorry, let me rephrase. Wall secret or rift? It was a wall secret. Uh, we don't need it. We've already found the food. Jesus Christ. Yeah, again, two and two. Best we can do. Mine was 40 main scroll or main perks by using the aspect, the damned aspect. Oh, does that one give you more chances of curse chests? I've never used the aspect system. Another bonus wall food? That's good luck. That is good luck. Good news! Alright, let's uh let's do this and then we'll we'll get out. Ding kong! There's something new for you to do. Uh, why why play with the aspects though? They are they are a kind of a crutch, but also, do I, should we really be making the game easier? <laughs> do we need to? I had 43 red growing Drax final form, five rifts, four red amulet, and a few bonus dual scrolls. Can you get five rifts? Five rifts? I thought you could only get maximum four. I thought I remember someone telling me that. I wish I could recycle that food. Hold on. Oh, there goes my 100% HP. <laughs> I was even thinking, you know what I could do? I could try to roll this flint into more damage on max health. What do I do? I freaking ruin it. Freaking ruin it. Uh, are we good? Yeah, let's get out of here. First four biomes, one in the castle. What? 
So you can get five? Is the castle special and it can give you a, a rift? Like, is there a guaranteed rift in the castle or something? Or maybe, maybe you can just get five. I was misinformed or misremembered. Probably the latter. We don't need to do anything else here. We can leave. My neck hurts again. Ugh. I don't know if I'm sleeping weird or, or what. Plus 60% damage to a bleeding target. Let's go. And then you know what? One more reset. Give me disengagement. Soldier's resistance. And then what buffs our damage? Nothing, but we have an armadillo pack. Let's take that. You had five a few times. Maybe it is five then. So, Boo Boo, welcome. How you doing? Thank you for the raid and hello. Ding, 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 ding. All right, I think we're ready. We can use Iron Staff to parry or the Greed Shield. We're quiet today, losing on the League. League? Of Legends? go. Dude, the damage is pretty good. Okay, next phase. <laughs> All right, do it one more time. Next. Oh my god, really? <laughs> that was a flawless. We didn't get hit there. What have you done, you moron? That was fantastic. Kick him, kick him, kick him in the head. <laughs> I couldn't even say it. Kick him in the head. That was good, that was good. I mean, we just, we obliterated him. Yeah, legendary flint for the win. My lord, that was good. Yeah, okay, flint's OP. But I knew that going into this one. I like that though, I, I wanted an OP run. I wanted, well, before we got the flint, I wanted to try a uh, baseball bat run. I'm glad we got the flint run going on there. That was absurd damage. And I had a good time with that one. I wanna look at this real quick. Total number of games, 560. But I, I sometimes, I probably, you know, that's not a good number because sometimes you, it counts, I think, if you just do like a quick restart. Total number of games finished, 120. Cursed chest open, 626. Secret portals open, 270. Completed 99.6%. I died 10 times in portals? Or I probably f died once and then forgot nine of them. Like I opened the portal and then forgot to go through the door. <laughs> that's a little bit, that's a little bit more accurate probably. Hold on a second. Get out of there. Um, total monster slain, 188,000. 4,000 elite slain. What's killed us the most? Swarm zombie killed us once. Disgusting worm three times. Dark tracker twice. Runner twice. Cannibal three times. This is this save file, by the way. We, we've I've played a lot more dead cells than just this save file. Slasher seven. 
Lacerator 1, Golem 1, Lancer 1, Failed Experiment 4. I also don't think this keeps in this keeps track of curses that kill you when an enemy hits you. This is just the enemies killing you. Ground Shaker twice, Slammer twice, Royal Guard once, Rampager 11, Jerk Shroom once, really? Banished once. Toxic Miasma 5, Oven Knight 4, Dancer 1. Pickpocket 1, Gold Gorger 4? That's surely that's supposed to be higher. Two, three, one, two. Like, Inquisitor 9. This does feel like it doesn't track all of them. I, surely I've died more times than these. Throwmaster. Bat 1. I like that. Buzzcutter 4. Although maybe I just, you know, in the save file, I've not performed too terribly. Concierge twice. Conjunctivius once. Mamatic 1. Timekeeper 1. Hand of the King 7. Giant 1. Giant Hand 1. Collector 8, Scarecrow 4, Calliope 1, Euterpe 2, Cleo 4, Queen 3, Death 1. Surely that's not correct. Death has definitely killed me more than once. I've I've died like four times at least that I can remember. So I don't I do not think that this keeps track properly. Dracula once, final form twice. Death's 137. Anyways, just wanted to take a quick look at that. Fun run, Flint good. For now, for those of you on YouTube, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support the channel at any of the links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Dead Cells.